Hello, welcome to Ekidev, where we train future civil and structural engineers. My name is Fashel Ochet. Now, today we want to concentrate on how we can have our curved cantilever slab on our curved beam. As you can see, this is a what? This is a curved beam. This is a curved beam. Now, many people have been asking how this can be can be actually be done. How they can they call, uh, have their slab around the curved beam? As you can see, this is a cantilever slab, curved cantilever slab on what? On the curved uh, curved beam. And as you can see, let's go to this uh, 2D and see. It is expected that from an actual drawing, people should be able to move around this curved beam. That is why we have to extend this on this side and also on this side. So that when people want to move, this place will not be too narrow for people to move. So at least let there be conveniency when it comes to movement. So that is why we have to extend this and also this side. So based on your architectural drawing, architect, if he knows what he's doing, he should be able to think the way people move very well. That is why when it comes to drawing, you don't just carry uh, your software and begin to draw. So you make it real realistic. So therefore, let's see how this, our cantilever slab, curved cantilever slab can move around our curved, curved beam. This is the question that people have been asking how it can be solved. So today, we want to see how this can actually be solved. Now today, thank you for coming to Ekidel. I want to tell you that Ekidel is a place to be. We are out to solve what? To solve engineering problem when it comes to structural designs and also civil engineering. So therefore, let's move there and see how this can be done. You can see it. You can see it. Very fantastic. You can see it. Very, very fantastic. So let's see how we can do this. And also, before we move, we have done, as you can see, this wall on a, this beam. You can see we have done video on how can this wall be modeled in such a way that it will not move all through the world, all through the beam, because the world is just only passing through the beam. It's not moving along the beam. So how this can be modeled, you can see this one. You can see this wall. The wall is moving along this beam. It's not moving, sorry, it's passing through this beam, and it's not moving along the beam. So you can see, you can see this one here. It's moving, it's passing through the beam, not moving along the beam. So how can this one be modeled? A, a video has also been done on that. So therefore, let's concentrate on today's one, which is how to model our curved cantilever slab on our curved uh, curved beam. So therefore, let's go there. In case you have not subscribed to Ekidel channel, I will please advise you to do so, so that you can have access to our videos. We have done a lot of videos that will help you to become what a good structural uh, engineer. So therefore, let's go there and also like this, uh, this video. Let's go there. All right. All right, welcome back. So therefore, let's see how this already curved beam. So therefore, let's see how this can be can be done. So what you do is to come to this place. Sorry, let me close this. Close this. So it's to come to this place and come to this place where we have a slab slash column edge in bracket line slash arc close bracket. So click on this one that has to do with what slab uh, slab slash column edge line and arc. So click on this and now let me have my was the from the from the architectural drawing. What is the length of this place? Let's assume it's 600. It's 600. F, press my F2 and type what? 600. Sorry, come up. Sorry, F2. Sorry, let me go back again. Let me go back again. Let me go back again. Click and come to this place and also click on this. Now let me have it from here to this place and write my what? Press F2. So good. So you can now write type 600. Enter. So you can see 600 so click and then right click and what okay so you can see from here to here we have our 600 so also come to this aspect this other side and also go to the same place and click on the same the same tools so click on this and come to this place or before i do that let me first of all extend my 600 from here from this uh, my axis let me have 600 f2 bring it down minus 600 then enter so you can see my 600 here this is my 600 so this one is my 600 so i go back and i'll pick it again pick my tools from this one and then come to this place extend all i need to do just to extend and what and click you can see it here you can see it here just be looking at this place so you can see i have my 600 i do what i click click on it and right click and then escape so you can see so we have it at the same time now from this place what's the extension from this particular place to this place it's also what 600 so i click i have my this uh, offset this by what by 600 so i press my f2 
f2 that's minus 600 then enter so you can see this is my 600 so all i need to do now is to go back again and click on this and pick my two this time around we are not picking this first one with this word slab slash column edge in bracket line slash arc close bracket no we are going to click on the one that has to do with the slab slash column edge in bracket arc so i now click on it and then I come to this place where my 600 is and then what and click that's where my 600 is and click and also come to this place where my 600 stop here end point and then extend it to where i have my 600 so you can see at this point this point here you remember how, how we extend this one as what 600 so now click on it so now i have this so haven't done this now click outside so haven't done this the next thing to do is to because we have to close it we have to close it so i go back to the same place and click and also pick my two as i said this one now this time around we are picking this one we are picking this one because it's curve we want to make so i click on this one then i come to this place click here and also come here and click on where this one starts from then i now extend it to the center of this to the way we have the center of this uh, of this slab or sorry of this curve beam so of this place and now click so you can see so it's there so we are there now so what do we do i click outside then i now click on this my beam property right click and click then i come here and see you can see bring it inside so you can see you can see it here just bring it inside once you have that curve you can see then what do you do see since your property your beam property are the same so you can see the depth is 150 and my load everything we have it there so now i click on what on this so you can see it here and then click sorry okay something's wrong something's wrong i'm coming i'm coming okay okay so you can see now we have we have done it so you have click on it so once you click on it so you can now see so you can now close this one close it so click outside so you can now see we have our curved cantilever slab around our what our curved there curved beam so this is how to to model your curved cantilever slab on a curved what on a curved beam so as very it's very very interesting so as you can see let's go to our 3d and see how it looks like so you can see we have achieved it so you can see very very fantastic so you have seen it so you can see we have created we have modeled our curved cantilever slab around our curved what curved beam anywhere you want to create your curved cantilever slab around curved beam this is how to go about it either at the foundation level or other sub in substructure or superstructure at any level this is how to go about it so you can see very 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 interesting very very fantastic so you can see we have done it in case you have not subscribed to this uh to this video to this uh, channel i will advise you to do that so that you can have access to all our videos and also if you have latest videos so that you can have what access to them all and not only that if this uh, this uh, video has really benefited you i want to say give this video a thumbs up at the same time like this uh, this video thank you very much and god bless as you can see this place we have done we have done a video on how this one can be can be molded in such a way that your wall is passing through a beam but it's not following throughout it's not following it's not passing through the entire beam how do you model that particular place that the wall is passing through on your beam without what overloading the beam your beam in the course of modeling so that is that we have done video on that one too so this is it we have also done videos on how to model cantilever slab any different different shape of different shape we have done that so today we are just concentrating on this particular one on how to model your cantilever slab around your what curved beam because a lot of people have been asking how can this one be done in a proper structure so as you can see we have actually achieved that so thank you very much and god bless you we also have academic mentorship class whereby we train specially like now we are concentrating on what on curved cantilever sorry curved cantilever slab around what curved beam now other things we have said but since that's not the main purpose we cannot be mentioning them but when it comes to academic mentorship uh, class what do we do we give you everything detail by detail step by step we tell you why we are doing this and why we are not doing this so everything will be made known to you that's why it's very important for you to do what to enroll on academic mentorship class not only that we also have what we call academic group whereby many engineers came together you know they ask questions if you are in course of designing and you have a question you can click post it there many engineers will respond to help you solve the problem and likewise if you are the one that's having a problem what do you do you post it and many people will attend to you to help you solve the problem and in case the question be that city ask you have answer to it why not that's where you do what you also share your own knowledge and many people benefit from it so i will advise you to actually join academic group at the same time enroll for academic mentorship class thank you very much and god bless you give this video a thumbs up 
and also subscribe for our Ekidel channel. Thank you very much. God bless you and wait for us for our next videos. We have done a lot of videos when it comes to structural design. So subscribe so that you can have access to all these videos. Thank you very much and God bless you.